Hey guys, you're back with another one of Gary's Mod Tutorials. Um, as I said, I was going to continue on auto turrets for a bit, so I'm going to do that now. Um, <coughs> I'm just going to... Yeah. I'm going to blitz through and build this as quickly as possible because you already know how to build these, hopefully. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit of a, a personalization on it in that instead of having the <coughs> the beacon sensor and everything control what's going on, I'm going to have you control it. So it's going to be a manable turret for you. And that should hopefully be some giggles for you. Uh, what I'm going to do is, once that's uh, fixed up, I'm going to put a pod controller on this. And that's going to stand about there. <coughs> so, as before, we need uh, the thrusters. Now, since they're not going to be coming from a wire gate, we can actually just set them as whatever we like. So I'm going to have this as 300, which hopefully shouldn't be too fast. Um, and I'm going to have the same hydraulic at the front. So from there to there. And then place the controller. <coughs> so uh, we're going to have the same as before. Um, we're going to have... A, 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 no, not the same as before. Um, as with the uh, seeker bot we did, we're going to use the sign gate. And the sign gate is just going to go there, and it's going to wire up. Uh, and then we're going to, obviously, as with most vehicles, we need the left and right thing, which is an add and a negate. So that's what we've got going on here. So to spin the turret right, we need to use D. And to spin it left, we need to use A. And then it's just that. And then the sign gate is that. And the thrusters are wired to that. Right. Now the accumulator needs to go up and down again. So, oh, the, the, yeah, I've gotten ahead of myself. The hydraulic needs to go up and down via an accumulator. So that's, it is, oh, ag no. Again, we need add and subtract. So arithmetic negate. And arithmetic add. Now we don't ne really need as much limiting things because we know that um, we've, uh, we're going to be in, in control of up and down. So we're just going to set that that. But you can also just set a reset button as about R and then that should set. So, right, that's about right. And we're also going to, I'm also going to put a turret on the front. I'm going to set the damage to about 100 obviously, because this is meant to kill people. Uh, again, a bit more centralised. Right, about there. And then, no collider again. And then, as opposed to before, <coughs> I'm going to add an RT camera. Uh, put it as enter. Right. Now, what this RT camera is essentially going to do, if I can set up right is it's going to <coughs> act as um, a crosshair essentially hopefully if it works so I'm just going to set that to about to inside uh, the, the turret just so the end sticking out so it doesn't block it in any way but we can still see out of it and then I'm just going to weld it on to the platform right now you can just leave that there because the pod controller can work over a vast distance, really. So I'm going to sit over here. And I'm going to make. Actually, I'm going to sit in the sky. Why not? Um, make myself a little platform here. Um, you need a seat, obviously. Uh, vehicles. And that will obviously fire off into the distance, as it always does. <sighs> right. Um. Set it in the middle a bit. What you could do is you could have most of the mechanisms um, on this little platform sitting next to you here, or you could leave them there and you could transfer things via a radio if you wanted to uh, like hide the mechanisms of what's going on a bit. Um, and then I'm gonna I need to find the category because this low resolution I don't know where it would be any useful and explosive. It's PHX useful and explosive props. So if you can find that's transportation and there it is and it's um screen and that's uh 
Nope, that's the wrong one. It's RT screen. And you can see it's it you can't really see anything, but you can see that to there. Ooh, oh, bloody hell. There you can see that it's essentially just showing what's going on. On uh, through the RT camera. So I'm going to put that in the roundabout in front of us. Um weld it on. And then I'm going to link up the pod controller with the seat. So down here, uh right click and then back up here and right click. Now on top of this I'm going to also make a kind of crappy crosshair what I can. So I'm going to stick this in front of the turret hopefully and then I'm just going to wire the turret up to um, something constant so I'm just going to wire it up to oh there is nothing constant around um, there. If you ignore the noise for the moment, you can just see that on the screen we can see where it's sort of hitting the board. And if we just go in tools and rope, it's going to be pretty crap, but we can uh, sort of make a crosshair out of it. Right. And then all you need to do is uh, unwire the that. And that'll shut up now. <laughs> right, and then all you need to do is wire the turret up to mouse 1. And now hopefully, when you let go of everything, um, it's kind of wobbling about a bit. Um, you can set the weight down on some stuff just to keep it right, or set the weight up. How much do these weigh? I'm going to set these as 100. And then hopefully they'll be a bit more stable. Um, always a uh, put in a multiply gate, um, so constant value of about 10, yeah, I'd say 10 is about right, um, arithmetic, multiply, so yeah, can wire this up, so as opposed to that, the length goes to the multiply, the multiply by 10, and then it's multiplying by 10, the add gate, and that's about right now, uh, where's my seat, up here, <coughs> so now, hopefully when I go up and down, Oh, well, that doesn't really work as well as I, ho I should hope. Oh, that's why it's supposed to be wired to the accumulator. So the length is the accumulator and the accumulates the mult. The mul right, there we go then. So now, there we go, it moves up and down. So left and right, up and down. Uh, so now we can aim at this guy and shoot him. And then we see the crosshairs pretty much working. I'll set the um, thrusters to a bit of a lesser uh, power, so they're on 300 at the moment, I'll set them to about 150. Uh, this is the kind of thing you need to do, you should be doing trial and error in it, and then, oh yeah, back of my chair, and uh, I think that's a bit better now. Still not good for that, those uh, little, can't hit the smaller targets, essentially. But you can always just like spray across and just go ah. <laughs> there we go. And I could even aim myself for it, so I could just. There you can see the fires coming from over there. And that's a, a little manable turret. Um, obviously, this is a bit of crap tutorial, obviously, because you know you probably could have done this in your own imagination, but. Well, you know. <laughs> now you know. So, I'll see you next time.